Hello and welcome you're watching Unplug TV India and this is Alice Francis. Today let's catch some highlights from the annual economic forum that took place in Davos, Switzerland that started from May 22. The annual summit of the World Economic Forum ends on Thursday in Davos, Switzerland. Leaders from all across the world participated in the global meet. This year the annual meet took place in May and not in January. The theme this year was Walking Together, Restoring Trust. From the last two years, the in-person meet was not held due to the COVID-19 pandemic. The forum convenes global news leaders across sectors for in-depth of the moment conversations that explore elements of the global economy and look ahead at what's to come. Because of this, the risks of climate crisis loomed nearer, economic recovery and development seemed to stall and the gap between the rich and the poorer stretched even wider. Apart from this, the tension between the Russian invasion of Ukraine was also a matter of discussion during the four-day long forum. This year, organizers had planned to exclude Russia with Western powers continuing to impose sanctions on the Kremlin. Ukrainian President Zelensky also addressed the summit through a video conference. More than 2,000 leaders from business, civil society and media attended the crucial meet. More than 2,000 leaders from business, civil society and media attended the crucial meet. Other than Zelensky, from India, three union ministers, Piyush Goyal, Mansukh Madhavia and Hardeep Singh Puri as well as several state leaders including two chief ministers Basavraj S. Bomai and Y. S. Jagan Mohan Reddy as well as K. T. Rama Rao from Telangana and Aditya Thakre along with several other public figures and a host of CEOs were present at WEF 2022 Davos. Other world leaders including the European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen, NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg, German Chancellor Olaf Scholz, US Envoy John Kerry and Pakistan's Foreign Minister Bilawal Bhutto Zardari were in attendance. The high-profile annual event began with a welcome reception on Sunday evening and ended on Thursday. The aim was to find solutions to the world's urgent changes including pandemic, climate change, Ukraine invasion and global economy among others. On day one of the WEF event, leaders and experts weighed on various topics ranging from the food crisis and geopolitical conflict to climate change and employment. The WEF also announced the launch of the Digital Foreign Director Initiative. Addressing the attendees during the business panel, Salil Parekh, the Chief Executive Officer of Indian IT Services firm Infosys, said that technology is changing rapidly and people will have to be trained for it. He was among business leaders talking about change at the annual summit. He spoke about accelerating the reskilling revolution. Meanwhile, Ukraine President Volodymyr Zelensky gave a special address and thanked the global community for its support following the Russian invasion of his country. However, he called for more help. President Zelensky referenced the Davos 2022 annual meeting's theme, History at a Turning Point, citing the unprecedented nature of the Russian Federation's brute force, which seeks nothing but the subjugation of those it seeks to subdue. Zelensky expressed regret that the world did not act sooner in a preventative way, asking whether Ukraine would have had to set a historical precedent. 
for courage had Russia been properly sanctioned last year. Zelensky's special address at Davos also called on countries to help reconstruct the country after the war via United 24, a fund set up to rebuild the country. He said, we call on everyone to join this platform and cited more than half a trillion dollars of loose losses. With the urgent need to rebuild entire cities and industries, he said, the plight of Ukraine is a broader concern of world freedom. Meanwhile, on day two, Commerce and Industry Minister Piyush Goyal spoke on India at 75 Strategic Outlook, along with Union Minister Harshdeep Singh Puri and Bajaj Finserv MD Sanjeev Bajaj and discuss what India can take to leverage today's inflection point and launch the reforms needed to be an influential member of the global community. Also addressing the event, European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen said, Ukraine must win this war and Europe was committed to doing everything to ensure that. Meanwhile, the Maharashtra delegation at the World Economic Forum in Davos has announced the signing of 23 Memorandum of Understanding worth 30,000 crore. Of these, over 55% of investments are foreign direct investments from countries such as Singapore, Indonesia, the US and Japan. Maharashtra is participating as a part of the Team India at WEF. Davos showcasing the state's role in building the $5 trillion economy for India. This includes investment in diverse sectors including pharmaceuticals and medical devices, IT, data centers, textiles, food processing, packaging, paper and pulp steel, etc. Maharashtra had launched the Magnetic Maharashtra 2.0 program for attracting investments in the state. So far in the nine editions of the MM 2.0 initiative under the leadership of Chief Minister Uddhav Thakre, the state has been able to attract 1.89 lakh crore in new investments in addition to an FDI of more than 2 lakh crore, the highest in India. The Maharashtra Industrial Development Corporation is executing the 10th edition of Magnetic Maharashtra 2.0 at the World Economic Forum.